this the Global Tech Manpower Institute an accredited training provider of the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority Tester. Our topic is in accordance with the training regulation of shielded metal arc welding. The welding NCI, SMAW, qualification consists of competencies that a person must achieve to weld carbon steel plates components as specified by layout, blueprints, diagrams, work order, welding procedure or oral instructions using small welding equipment. This qualification conforms with American Welding Society D1.1 Structural Welding Code. American Society of Mechanical Engineers ASM 9 Boiler and Pressure Vessel Code, Association of Petroleum Industry API 1104 Code for Gas and Oil Pipeline Facilities, and International Standard Organization ISO 9606 One Qualification of Welders for Steel. The units of competency comprising this qualification include the following Unit of Competency Interpret Drawings and Sketches. Unit descriptor This unit covers the competencies required to read and interpret drawings and sketches. There are three learning outcomes to learn on this topic. Every learners of shielded metal arc must know at the end of this lesson, you are expected to do the following. 1. Identify standard alphabet of lines. 2. Identify orthographic slash isometric views. 3. Interpret standard drawing symbols, dimensional tolerances and notations. Let us discuss the learning activities to be undertaken and what are the performance criteria italicized terms are elaborated in the range of variables to identify standard alphabet of lines the two topic to discuss in these are. 1.1 alphabet of line are identified. 1.2 uses of the alphabet of lines are explained. Let us discuss the learning activities to be undertaken and what are the performance criteria italicized terms are elaborated in the range of variables to identify orthographic slash isometric views the two topic to discuss and these. 2.1 orthographic and isometric drawing are identified. 2.2 orthographic and isometric views are explained. Let us discuss the learning activities to be undertaken and what are there. Performance criteria italicized terms are elaborated in the range of variables to three. Interpret standard drawing symbols, dimensional tolerances and notations the two topic to discuss and these. 3.1 drawing symbols are interpreted according to drawing standards. 3.2 dimensional tolerances, notations are interpreted according to specifications. Assessment requires evidence that the candidate interpreted technical drawings and sketches as learners of shielded metal ARC welding class must have the practical skills and knowledge and these are the following. 1. Critical aspects of competency. 2. Underpinning knowledge. 3. Underpinning skills. 4. Resource implications. 5. Method of assessment. 6. Context for assessment. Let me discuss further the purpose of studying the technical drawing in shielded metal arc welding is vital to read the content in the welding procedure specification wherein the welding design can be seen. Welding procedure specification is like a map that allow engineer and architecture design a structure a general term to describe buildings and other physical structures. Welders should know interpret and read the alphabet of lines in the sketches of the structure. Technical drawing is a form of design communication based on line symbols recognized and understood worldwide. Hence, technical drawing is often referred to as a universal language understood, readable, by anyone regardless of the language they speak. Contractors, estimators, tradesmen and builders rely totally on technical drawings for the information they need to build, construct and manufacture a product. To work in design and manufacturing industries, the study of technical drawing ability to prepare, read and interpret technical drawing is essential. Line symbols used in technical drawing are often referred to as alphabet of lines. 
The use of line symbols enables engineers, designers to express features of designed products clearly and accurately. Line features vary not only by width but also by how they are graphically represented in a drawing. Line significance is conveyed by line weight or thickness of the line. Every line is drawn a different thickness and darkness to express contrast as well as importance. Lines that are less important are thin and light. Key to successful drafting is to have a good technical knowledge of these various line characteristics, to understand where and when to apply them in technical drawing. Orthographic projection, common method of representing three-dimensional objects, usually by three two-dimensional drawings in each of which the object is viewed along parallel lines that are perpendicular to the plane of the drawing. For example, an orthographic projection of a house typically consists of a top view, or plan, and a front view and one side view, front and side elevations. Orthographic projection, sometimes referred to as orthogonal projection, used to be called an ailment A, is a means of representing three-dimensional objects in two dimensions. It is a form of parallel projection in which all the projection lines are orthogonal to the projection plane, too, resulting in every plane of the scene appearing in a fine transformation on the viewing surface. The obverse of an orthographic projection is an oblique projection, which is a parallel projection in which the projection lines are not orthogonal to the projection plane. The term orthographic is sometimes reserved specifically for depictions of objects where the principal axes or planes of the object are also parallel with the projection plane, too, but these are better known as multi-view projections. Furthermore, when the principal planes or axes of an object in an orthographic projection are not parallel with the projection plane, but are rather tilted to reveal multiple sides of the object, the projection is called an axonometric projection. Subtypes of multi-view projection include plans, elevations and sections. Subtypes of axonometric projection include isometric, dimetric and trimetric projections. 1. Geometry 2. Subtypes 3. Cartography 4. Notes 5. References 6. External links Lastly the purpose of this study that lines in technical drawings are part of a specialized graphic language that is standardized throughout industry especially those who are studying the skills in shielded arc welding. Each type of line has a very precise symbolic meaning. Correct usage of this alphabet of lines is essential whether you use traditional drafting methods or CAD. If you want information, knowledge and education subscribe to this channel.